Hey, what's going on guys? It's breakfast time and I wanna show you guys one of my favorite things to have for breakfast. Now, you guys know me and I try to include as many nutrient dense foods in my diet as possible. Um, this morning, I'm gonna make eggs. Now, a lot of people have eggs for breakfast. Make them sunny side up, scrambled, poached, soft boiled, hard boiled. It gets boring. Um, I'm gonna show you something I think you guys are gonna really, really enjoy. Not only is it delicious, but we're gonna include foods in it that are just packed with nutrients and all have their own benefits. We're gonna do eggs with some shiitake and some portobello mushrooms, onion, squash, and fresh grated turmeric. Believe me when I tell you, it's delicious. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. Watch this. Basically, I start with some zucchini. And what I'm gonna do is cube it up fairly small. This will allow it to cook faster, more evenly. And um, I don't know, I prefer it chopped up a little more fine rather than have big chunks of squash mixed in with my eggs. Now, zucchini is a great choice because it's low in calories. It tastes, it actually goes great with eggs, believe it or not. Um, it's a good source of fiber. And it really is good for the digestive system. Keeps everything moving well. So I've got that cubed up. Next, shiitake mushrooms. Awesome, awesome. I mean, totally delicious. Compared to regular white button mushrooms, way, way, way more intense flavor. And from a nutritional standpoint, these have been used medicinally in Asia for hundreds of years for their anti-cancer properties, immune boosting properties. Just a great thing to include in the diet on a regular basis. I find all sorts of ways to use them. And added bonus, they're high in fiber and they're great for keeping your bowels moving, always important. Same thing, just, and, and I, use, I, I use the stems. They're a little chewy, but they've got a nice flavor. I say, why not just use them? Now you want, when you buy mushrooms, especially shiitake mushrooms, you wanna buy them from a reputable place because shiitake mushrooms can be grown on all different types of mediums. They can be grown on everything from real wood logs to sawdust and old rags and uh, really pretty gross. So I think it makes sense to spend a little bit more on mushrooms from a more of a reputable store. I mean, I get mine at Whole Foods. I, can, I always feel confident shopping at Whole Foods because they're generally, they're very strict about what they allow in their store. They usually go into depth to check the source of, their, of the products that they allow in their store. So I just get them there. And to be honest, not much more expensive. There's a grocery store down the street from my house. Um, and it's not the nicest grocery store, which I don't have a problem with, but they sell mushrooms. Uh, the shiitake mushrooms there are about $8 a pound. At Whole Foods, they're about 10 a pound. So for an extra $2 a pound, um, I would rather, it's not like they're double the price. I would much rather be safe and feel good about it. I've also got some portobello mushrooms. Maybe not as nutritionally beneficial, but also delicious. And I like to include them. As you can see, we've already got quite a bit of vegetables built up. By the time we're sitting done, it's probably gonna be about a full two cups worth. Now, I like to eat a lot of vegetables. I think it's very important. I consume a lot of animal protein, and I feel like the vegetables are a great counterpoint to that. Uh, not only from a nutritional standpoint in terms of the phytonutrients that they offer, but also the alkalizing properties. I feel like vegetables and meat 
go together really well, or in this case, eggs. Uh, it's a great combination. Turmeric root. This stuff is awesome. You can buy powdered turmeric root. The fresh stuff is way, way, way more tasty. Now, as you guys may or may not know, turmeric root is prized and it's hailed for its ability to reduce inflammation, to improve digestion, it benefits the liver, it benefits the skin, the lungs. Really, there's almost nothing it doesn't do. Now, the active constituent in turmeric root being curcumin, you can buy curcumin supplements. I use a curcumin supplement daily. I think it's very, very important. I definitely notice a reduction in pain. You know, I have certain aches, pains from over the years of training hard. I definitely notice an improvement when I'm using curcumin religiously. But I just recently started using the fresh root, uh, the whole turmeric root. Curcumin comes from the turmeric. The curcumin is more of the isolated um, constituents, certainly more potent. But anything that I use in supplement form, I prefer when possible to try to use it in its whole food form as well uh, as part of my diet. I would much rather prefer to eat uh, my vitamins and minerals and phytonutrients and things like that as opposed to taking a product, although I do obviously believe in supplements. But when possible, I always want the diet to be the best it can be. So with this, I just cut the ends off it. Now, it's almost like ginger root. You could go ahead and peel it. Honestly, I don't even bother. I'm just gonna get the grater. I'm gonna grate it up. What I do, on your cheese grater, you've got a fine side, you've got a coarse side. I just use the fine side of it. And just grate it up, skin and all. I mean, you're not even gonna notice it once it's in there, who cares? Warning though, this stuff is gonna turn everything orange. You may or may not be able to see, but my, my cutting board is already stained all yellow from the turmeric. It drives my wife nuts. It doesn't really bother me, I don't care. Oh, and it's gonna stain your skin. A lot of times like my, my nails and the skin on my hand is kind of tinted yellow from all the turmeric I've been grinding up and eating. <laughs> right? So we've got that. Now, as you can see, it's grated up. It almost looks like carrot. The taste of this stuff, it's difficult to describe, but believe me when I tell you, it's delicious. It's not strong like ginger. Ginger has like a spicy, could almost be an overbearing taste. Turmeric's not like that. It's subtle, it's earthy, and it, it gives a depth and dimension to your food. It's really, really, really delicious, trust me. You wanna try it, you wanna get some and you wanna try it. Now I'm also gonna chop up a little bit of onion. Obviously I'm using it for a taste, but lesser known fact, onions, you know, what give them their pungent smell is the sul high sulfur content. Now the body uses sulfur to detoxify itself. So eggs are high in sulfur, onions, uh, even there's a lot of antioxidants and you'll, you'll hear the term sulfur bearing. Um, generally speaking, it's good for, good for detoxification and delicious. And lastly, parsley. I love parsley. It's delicious, it's green, it goes good in pretty much anything. I'm gonna chop some of that up. No, I mean, already. Look at all this stuff we've got. We've got this beautiful orange turmeric. We've got this nice green parsley, the onion, the mushrooms, the squash. You, this literally transforms your, your everyday, you know, humdrum omelet. You know, you have your eggs and toast every morning. And I like eggs for breakfast. You don't have to eat eggs for breakfast. Like, not like there's some written law that eggs are breakfast food, but Eggs are great for breakfast because they are easy to digest. And I feel like you wake up in the morning and the last thing you wanna do is go ahead and give your digestive system this big giant load uh, to work with. So eggs are great in the morning. That being said, they get boring. What do you do with them? This is great. I mean, look, we've just elevated all the phytonutrients we've added to it with, with, with this and, and it's gonna be delicious. So I've got my pan warming up. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just scramble some eggs. I use six. I don't know why, that's just been the magic number. So I have five, it doesn't seem like enough. Five, seven, it seems like too much. So six it is. And I mean, eggs, from a nutritional standpoint, powerhouse. All the good fat, one of the most potent sources of choline that exists. Now choline being necessary for proper brain development and proper brain function, nerve function, loaded with cholesterol, contrary to what you've been told, that's not a bad thing, that could actually be a very good thing. Um, in eggs, and the only foods, I think it is the only food that has all, uh, all the amino acids in one spot. Just a great source of protein, great source of nutrients. Eggs, typically a great source of iodine. I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a power packed breakfast. I'm gonna scramble these up. Now, I've got a pan that's been warming up on medium heat. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw some olive oil in there. Just a little bit over a tablespoon. I'm gonna add the onion first. And uh, rather than wait, I'm just gonna pretty much add everything at the same time. Turmeric. And the parsley. let that cook now what I've got here this stuff's really really cool I came across this last week it's sea salt and what they do is they mix in little tiny bits of seaweed with it well, why seaweed why is that significant why is that important seaweed is probably the most potent source of iodine um, that you can find in any food and typically it's pretty much a known fact that we underconsume iodine. And iodine is important for proper thyroid function uh, and for cell death. Now, what is that? That sounds like a bad thing. All cells are programmed to die after a certain amount of time. And cells don't die on time, that's cancer. So iodine is especially important for the prevention of cancer it's something that, that's great for thyroid function. It's something that we should be uh, consuming in our diet in much larger quantity than we are. This is a great extra way, a great way to get some extra iodine in there. Just in a, you know, for every 330 milligrams of sodium, you're getting 240% of the recommended daily value of iodine. It's just a nice convenient way to get extra iodine in your diet. And honestly, it tastes delicious. I'm gonna cover that, let that cook down a little bit every couple minutes, give this a little stir. Mm. I know you guys can't smell in here, but believe me when I tell you, it smells awesome. I think this is about done. 
which is good because I'm starving. Just gonna plate this up. Now, you're gonna notice, I mean, this is a pretty significant plate of food. Now, eating this way is great, especially for someone who's dieting, because, you know, the eggs aside, I mean, the eggs are fairly, you know, calorie dense, but you can control that, you know, with, you could do some egg whites, you could eliminate some of the eggs, but all these veggies, I mean, they're giving you so much nutrition, they're filling, they're satisfying. Even for someone who's in an off season, it's just a really nutritious, great breakfast. And I'm gonna go eat it.